All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. What a title reign it has been, but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and the same reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 236 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, presenting the challenger, the great. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of Five wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Kimbo Slaw. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Oh, 
Nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts. But instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just missed with the left there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, is that a big news? The body will see if he can follow up. Leg kick land. Oh, straight right. Back and forth we go. Three minutes now, round one. My goodness. Jab hurt him a little bit. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh! Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Nice thing with the right hand. Got the single collar tie. Nice thing with the right hand. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, huge hook. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. And everything's landing with so much power. Caught that kick there. Watch the punch. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, what a kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Nice stick with the right hand. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Oh! He landed a good uppercut there. Oh! Look how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, nice. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Great punch landed with so much power. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Already closes the distance, gets a single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight.
Second round underway. Big kick lands. And just misses with that big right hand. Look at him chop the woods. Chop the woods with those leg kicks. Keep going again. Do it again. All right, well, he landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece. There's no huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice jab. Nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. All oh, collar tie. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, just misses with the kick. And a miss with the right hook. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big, massive shot of lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now a knee. This very, very dangerous position. Yeah. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Ooh, big shot lands. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stay up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up. I'm not Just over two minutes to go in round two. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Slice. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Under two minutes to go. Back to the feet now. Big kick. Whiffs on the right hand. Nice strike. Man, is he timing his shots well here. Oh, oh okay, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Oh, and just like that, the fight is over. He got it. What a performance. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to start this contest at 3 minutes, 37 seconds of round number 2. Going to winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Herb So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats standing for me. I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you, right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world. A guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, 